So basically, before I go along uh, with so many things, maybe I can give you a brief of what is exactly cybersecurity and what it all talks about and enhances and everything. So cybersecurity basically refers to the practices uh, of protecting systems. Oh, thank you. Of uh, practices of protecting systems, networks, and programs, basically, that are being built in the digital world. Uh, why do we need cybersecurity? This is because uh, damages can be caused or on, on attacks, uh, people trying to get out unauthorized access into the surfaces of the information, uh, basically uh, threat actors aiming to destroy data which is being built, and so on and so on forth. So why in the OpenMRS? Basically, uh, we need to... Talking. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so basically, what we need to talk about is the OpenMRS, since it's an open source. And basically, a lot of, com a lot, a lot of people are engaging in building this platform. And uh, this platform is being, be being used by hospitals that are uh, doing things in regards to medical record systems in the world wide. Uh, and these systems are using sensitive information, which is patient data. And this patient data, we need to understand how we can be able to protect it and go all about, all about it. So that is why we, we are here to talk about uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, enhancement of uh, cybersecurity posture. So what are, what are some of the things that we have been able to identify and that need to be uh, focused on? Uh, basically is, uh, thank you. Basically is some of the following things. Uh, number one is uh, lack of uh, a comprehensive cybersecurity framework. Why do we need to talk about this? This is because the absence of a structured approach to managing cybersecurity risks across an organization basically can be very damaging. Without a comprehensive framework in an organization may, may lead to struggling and identifying of our vulnerability assessments and identifying the threats that are within uh, the frame. Uh, number two is the number of data breaches. I believe you have all heard of FIN6. It, it has been one of great, the greatest threat, uh, threat attack cybersecurity group that has always been looking into ways of performing data breaches on, on security and data. So that is number two. Number three is uh, lack of cybersecurity minimum baseline standards. So these standards are basically they indicate uh, establishing minimum security requirements that organizations must meet for a good security posture uh, in their frameworks. Uh, number four is lack of a comprehensive framework on incident management. Uh, this refers to the absence of a structured way for detecting, being able to communicate, having a protocols way of giving out feedback of information because I believe not all information is necessary to be out there for everyone to know what is happening. So basically with that, we have been working on several things and we can give you a progress update of what we have been working on. Um, number one, uh, some of the things we've been able to complete. Uh, please, let's go to the next slide. Uh, number one, we've been able to develop a uh, comprehensive documentation about incident response plan. This is going step by step on how you can go on uh, reporting an incident, maybe from the SOC tier one to SOC tier two to SOC tier three, and how they can be all communicated to the stakeholders and how this information can be relayed even to the clients and everything. Uh, number two, we've been able to develop um, a protocol for incidents or incidents for implementers escalation. Uh, escalation basically goes about how do we understand the incidents? How, where, where is it supposed to be taken to? Who is supposed to be communicated the, uh, the information to? And yeah, that's it. And to get access to what we have been working on, we have been able to post it on the OpenMRS wiki, and you can be able to uh, interact with the documentation. And I believe the incident response plan can be a very key and crucial thing, because if it is not well implemented in the facility and the facilities that are, being, that are using OpenMRS, they can lead to a massive destruction. And for, for us to make sure that we have capped that, we need to follow uh, these guidelines, these uh, frameworks. And when we do that, I believe that we can be able to secure our system, even for future and we can be able to, to come up with that gap. And lastly, I can be able to just say one more thing. In the development cycles, pipeline security is one of the greatest things. Before we even take something to the production phase, we always need to understand, is it secure enough to be out there? Even like the biggest companies face such things. And I believe security is one of the crucial things that we need to look into. 
Thank you.